A Democrat in the House of Representatives is calling for the impeachment of U.S. Supreme Court Justices Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh. The person calling for this is U.S. Rep. Charlie Crist, who is retiring and now going to be, at the end of this term, running against Ron DeSantis for governor of Florida. And he's calling for their impeachment because, as he alleges, they have misrepresented their positions on the 1973 Roe v. Wade case and how they said during their confirmations that the Roe case was a precedent of the Supreme Court. Now, what he's doing, obviously, is running off of emotion, trying to stoke the flames, and get more people to either take up the idea of bouncing a Supreme Court justice for following the Constitution, uh, and or uh, help him get votes in Florida so he can oust a very popular governor in DeSantis. Now, Chris said this uh, on Friday when the ruling came out, uh, the Hobbs decision, that is, he said, today's ruling makes clear that Justices Gorsuch and Kavanaugh lied to Congress when they testified under oath that, in their view, Roe v. Wade was settled precedent. Perjury is a crime. If perjury is found to have occurred, the correct remedy is impeachment. However, what this ass clown isn't telling you is that uh, they didn't perjure themselves. Uh, when cases come through, even if there is a past precedent, the justices decide the decision... Uh, decide the case based off of the uh, text, history, tradition, and evidence presented before them. By his, by Christ's uh, allegations, nothing could ever be changed, including old laws like slavery. If it was a precedent back then, then how could how could he be for the Supreme Court overturning it, or how could he be against people being uh, uh, done wrong because of the color of their skin, or or the country, the ethnicity that they have? Those are all things that were overturned over time, because, but they were past precedent, which is what the case that he is all upset about was as well. Now, in Gorsuch's hearings, he said, quote, I would tell you that Roe v. Wade decided in 1973 is a precedent of the United States Supreme Court. It has been reaffirmed. A good judge will consider it as precedent of the United States Supreme Court worthy as treatment of precedent like any other. Again, other precedents have been overturned and precedents now will be overturned in the future, more than likely. Brett Kavanaugh said during his confirmation hearings, It is settled as precedent of the Supreme Court, entitled to respect under principles of stare decisis. The Supreme Court has recognized the right to abortion since the 1973 Roe v. Wade case. It has reaffirmed it many times. Now again, if we would never overturn anything, then none of the, the things that Chris likes, such as gun control, none of them would ever be able to be uh, okayed because past precedent. Guns started this country. People had guns all over the place, in stores, in uh, private homes, uh, on Lexington Green when they needed them. Uh, so this is just a bunch of hogwash. He's trying to get people up in a tiffy, in a, or tizzy, tizzy. You know what I mean? He's trying to get everybody emotionally charged so that it'll help them come November for the uh, midterm elections and help him uh, defeat Ron DeSantis for the governor's race. So see through the smoke, ladies and gentlemen. And I uh, just thought I'd bring this to you because it's starting to light up the airways uh, as his call has started to ring upon other ultra liberals. And you'll see, I'm sure you'll see and hear more about this in the coming days. Thank you for your time. I appreciate each and every single one of you more than you know. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.